What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Even with the changes they made to the Whisper of the Worm, this is still very much one of the best weapons to use in this game. Now this mission is really challenging, especially if you want to do a solo, but I'm going to make a video on this because right now with the Reverie event, it is a lot more easy to do if you're trying to get this thing done solo. So I'm going to use the Tonic and I'm going to use the Grenade Boost. Now not only will this give me more grenades, but it's also going to let me throw more shields for my Titan. I'm using the Void Titan right now. This is my go-to whenever it comes to doing live streams. If you do need help with this and you're on PS4, I do live streams on this. And I've helped probably 500 people get this weapon. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys have notifications on if you want to jump into any of those events. Now, I'm doing the Titan. I'm going to have my super mods on most of my armor. And I'm going to use the Doom Fangs. These are really good to use for this mission because you're going to be able to throw a ton of shields, especially when you have that grenade boost active. Now, I do have super mods on here. I do have some ordnance mods. And I also have the Taken Armaments. Now, these are not necessary, but it does make this much easier, especially because heavy ammo is a bit more limited here in this mission. I'm also going to use the Thunderlord. I would recommend using, if you're going to solo this, I would recommend using Sleeper Simulant. But I'm going to use Thunderlord because I think a lot of people may have this from the recent Arc Week event. So let's jump right into it. I'm waiting for the public event. I'm going to show exactly how good the grenade boost can be. I want to apply that right now and we're going to wait here for the public event to start. So let's apply this. It will cost you 50 essence. So make sure you've gotten those from different activities. And I'm going to apply this right now. It will last for one hour. So you should have at least one or two tries here with putting this on when it comes to the jumping puzzle i made a video on that before but i'm going to be using the lion rampants these are really good to use for the jumping part and the faster you go the more time you'll have at the end i'm going to keep the doom fangs on right now just because we have to take out the yellow boss when he gets here and it's also going to show just how good the grenade boost can be so just to recap we have super mods on the armor we have some ordnance mods and we had to take an armaments mod. This can be obtained from the Last Wish Raid. Super useful when it comes to doing this mission. For weapons, I have the Transfiguration, also from Last Wish. I threw a Taken spec on here. Not necessary, but it does do a little bit more damage when it comes to this mission. H helpful because of all the Taken, arm taken enemies in here. I have the Aikilo Shotgun. Excellent weapon, even with the nerf to it recently. This is great against a lot of the enemies in here, even though not many have the solar shield at the end. But it's also great too against the blights at the very ending room, and it's also amazing against the knights here as well. You also have Thunderlord. Again, most people have this, and I think it's going to be pretty useful in this mission, but it's not necessarily the best option. Best would be Sleeper. Obviously, Whisper is amazing, but this is why we're going to get this. So, let's go ahead here. We have to rally the flag, and the event just started. The first thing we got to do here, guys, is take down a special yellow boss. So, let's find him. He should be either in this cave up here. He could also be over in this little system right here. I think he's up in the cave. Yeah, there he is. So, all these enemies, there's three potential bosses here. All these enemies are from Destiny 1, which is pretty cool. So let's just jump up there. I know this is going to be a longer video, so hopefully you guys can bear with me and we'll go through and get this thing done all in one motion. So the cool thing is here, if I use my, my super and get punched back, I can jump up here and I can throw this shield pretty much indefinitely with having this boost. You can see here, I'm getting my shields back pretty much immediately. Now this guy retreated a little bit. But we're just going to keep throwing shields here. It's more or less indefinite. So it's not a huge deal which weapons you have. Because as long as you have this super, you can just smack this guy down. Now, it's going to be, it'll be nice as I go through the mission because I can easily uh, get grenades back. But normally, my super would last nowhere near as long. So this is why the Titan is really, really good for this mission right now. This is going to be your best chance of soloing this. If you've had trouble with it, trouble with this in the past, this will be the best time to do it. So let's jump right in here and get things started. Now, the one thing I'm going to do here, though, as I'm going through the jumping puzzle, is I'm going to take off the gauntlets. And I'm going to throw on my lion rampants. Once I get to the boss section, I will switch back. But these lion rampants are not necessarily needed. 
but they are super helpful when it comes to this jumping part. The faster you can go here, the better off you'll be. And I'm hoping that I don't have to use my weapons too much. I can use my super and my grenades, but let's find out. I have not I have not tried this yet, but I know it can be pretty helpful. So let's just jump right in. We're flying into the mission. Here we go. So for this jumping part, I like to jump on this rock right here and then jump all the way up. Now, sometimes that jump can be pretty tricky, but right there we got it done. Even with the changes here, my kilos is still really good. But I noticed though before when I used to do this, it would only take four shots to, to break those blights. Now it's taking six shots. So kind of a bummer that they bumped it down that much. I thought that they would increase the damage, but you can tell four shots before, six shots now, not exactly as good. But still the, the weapon I would recommend for this. All right, we're going through... Now, the Titan can make this jump without Lion Rampants, but you have to be a bit more careful. With Lion Rampants, there's a lot more opportunity to kind of mess up. So we're going we're gonna to jump here and avoid this entire thing. I'm most comfortable doing this with my Titan. And like I said, I've probably helped 500 people get this weapon. I think this is the best class to use for this. But I know every class can, do, can get through this jumping part pretty quickly. If you spam the X button, I'm playing on, on PS4 right now, you can go through two of those at a time. If you have a high mobility character, you can go through two just walking normally. And right now, I know I'm kind of going pretty quickly, but I do have a video on this jumping part where I kind of explain the different jumps that each character can make. Because I'm playing on my Titan right now at the bottom tree for Void, I can use my shoulder charge as a way to kind of move a bit faster you can also make that jump in one big jump right onto this elevator but it's more risky so this time I didn't do that yeah almost fell all right so even you know honestly even with all the updates in this game all the DLC I still think this is the best moment so far in Destiny 2. So guys, let me know in the comments what your favorite part of Destiny 2 has been so far. Whether it be DLC or dungeons or whatever, this is my favorite still. And we are coming on the one year mark. So I think I may do a extra long live stream helping people get this on the one year anniversary of this mission. So we're just gonna keep going through here. The faster you go, the better off you'll be at the very end. Just gonna keep ignoring these guys. Our buddy Zol is talking, so I'll be quiet. We also got the green room music coming up, my favorite music in the game, or one of my favorites. Now, I could have used my grenade boost at the very end, or right before I got to the boss, or the right, right before I got to the ads, but I wanted to show how good it was against that yellow boss outside in, in the public area. Alright, so now we're getting close to the ads. I just gotta make sure I remember to switch to my Doomfangs, because those are going to be super helpful for this. All right, so we got here about 16 minutes left. Can definitely go a little bit faster than that, but still, this is gonna be plenty of time, I think, to get this done. So, last thing to do is switch. Switch back, here's my ordinance mod, and here's my doom things. All right, so we're good to go. I shoot out my super really quickly. And if you die a lot in this, don't worry about it, because going fast, sometimes involves being a little bit more risky and it's better to be fast here even if you die a couple times than being super cautious and that guy got me not a big deal normally I would try to take that vandal out this time I kind of rushed a little bit and that hurt me but not a big deal
So you can see my, my grenades are recharging. I'm not, I'm not instantly, but really fast. Not fast enough right there, though. So I just need to take out this captain. And then we can focus on clearing this first room. So we got these thralls here. If we can group them up, that should be able to get most of them in one hit. And now the other ads should spawn in. Alright, so the other ads are here. This is when I like to use my super for the first time, is this section. And if you can get all of them, that, that's great. If you don't get all of them, it's not a huge deal, though. This is where the Doom Fangs are much better to use, I think, than any other Titan Exotic. Especially with this grenade boost, because I'm, I'm getting my shield back instantly. Now, I think if I had been better, I could probably have got my super all the way down to here and then maybe been able to keep it, but not a huge deal. Really good, I think, though, to clear out that room, though, with one super. Or to clear out most of that room. Now, the one thing I, I want to be a little bit more careful of is, is saving some of my Aikilo's ammo because I need to have some of that for the, the final section with the blights. It's super important to have that because otherwise you may be in a, in a tough spot. But I need to use some right here though to take down this knight. Alright, so he's down. I like to jump up to here once I take down this knight. Now the difficult thing will, will be to get the knight over here. He's pretty tough. I don't have anything longer, longer range that can get him. So probably better off jumping down here, getting some grenade kills. There's a bunch of heavy ammo, so I can probably start using my Thunderlord a little bit. If I can get this knight, cool. Alright, he's down. You can tell though that it's not quite as good as, as using something like Sleeper. It just doesn't do enough damage against the other shields. Luckily for me though, I have Machine Gun Scavenger on one of my armor pieces and I have Heavy Ammo Finder where I had to take an armament. So you can see I'm getting a lot of Heavy Ammo to drop because of that. You can definitely play better than I am right now and give yourself even more of an opportunity because if I'm using my grenade so much, I should be able to get a lot more ammo back than I am. Really I should almost have infinite Heavy Ammo because of this. But the key thing is, we're going to get down to the bottom, and we're going to have enough time. Right, let's drop down here. We have a super again, so I think this might be a good time to use a super, and then we'll have it for the very end. It's important to make sure you have your super, though, for that last room for when the ads are there, because otherwise taking out those enemies can be pretty tough. This time, though, because I have all the Th Thunderlord ammo, I may be able to do it a bit differently than I normally would do it. So we'll try that out. We have so much heavy ammo, it's great. And we have full special ammo. So we're in a really good spot here, I think, when it comes to having enough ammo for all this. I think we have full heavy and full special. Now, we don't have a super back yet, but I may be able to do this a little bit differently. See, right here, I don't, I don't like rushing out too far because two guys are going to spawn behind me. So if I can be quick here, I should be able to take out these hobgoblins and then double back here. Or not. That's right. Sometimes those guys block your, your path. 
All right, let's keep going. We have 10 minutes to go. We're actually going pretty quick right now. And this tonic is making all the difference. Right, so those guys are down. I don't have to take out these scions, but I, I will take them out, though, just to get some more um, special ammo. Or, I'm sorry, get some more super. I want to make sure I have my full super going down in here. I do apologize, I have some maintenance crew outside, so there may be some additional noise. I apologize for that, aside from getting killed. Alright, so let's go. We got nine minutes to go. We have plenty of time. We have our super. We have a bunch of Thunderlord ammo. Shoot this and drop down. Now, my first objective here is not going to be to take out the enemies. I got to make sure I take out these three blights the two in the front and then the one in the middle. That's going to be important because we need to have clear lines of sight to take down these bosses. So let's get these first. This is where having the old school Aikilos would have been better. That's right, we got two out of the three. You don't have to take down every blight, but you want to take down the three I mentioned here. So this one that was here, this one over here, and then that one back there in the middle. Sometimes the enemy will go way in the back, but that's kind of rare. You don't have to worry about that one right now. Alright, so all of those are taken out. Used up nearly all my special ammo, but not a big deal. Alright, so normally I would use my super here, but because I have a lot of Thunderlord ammo, I want to try to take these guys out with it. This way I'll have my super when the bosses come in, and I may be able to take the first captain out with just my super. If I can do that, I think we're in pretty good shape. All right, we're gonna drop down here again. The biggest threat here are these guys because they have the arc shield. They're the only enemies that have arc shields. So it's actually kind of good that I'm using, using Thunderlord right now. I can smack that guy down pretty easily. Right, we got some ammo back. Died again, again. Don't worry about dying here. The, the thing is, you're going to die a lot in this. And if you try to be super cautious, you're going to not you're not going to have enough time. So just rush in there, kill as many guys as you can. We have seven and a half minutes. This is going to be down to the, down to the wire. But like I said, there is plenty of opportunities for me here to play better. So you don't you don't have to be perfect. All right, he's down. I think that's it. Alright, so. Try to go grenade at this guy. So now, basically, what I want to do here is I, want to, I just want to keep spamming L1. And I want to try to live as long as I can here. If we can take this guy down in one hit, that'd be awesome. Alright, sorry. They got me, but we got him less than half health. Now, I will have my super back here before the end, and I do have tons of grenades here. So, this is where we want to just be super aggressive, throw grenades, use Thunderlord. If I run out of Thunderlord ammo, I have those taken armaments. I can use, I can get some grenade kills and get that back right away. guys are here. Try to shoulder charge one of them just to get some super energy. We're back down here again. Now all three bosses are out now. And we're looking for any opportunity here to keep getting some damage. Now part of it too is getting lucky when it comes to spawning. Now they're spawning me way back up here. Not a huge deal but it's, it does kind of take up some time to fall in here. We're just going to use as much ammo as we can. We can take down this captain. That will be really clutch because he's kind of messing us up by throwing that stuff in our face every minute. I need to be more cognizant about using 
my grenades because I have these things pretty much every two seconds. Having a scout rifle here is nice, but it doesn't do as much damage. And if you can throw grenades better than I can, which if you watch my live streams, you know that's something I struggle with. I want to kind of risk it here, go inside and try to take this guy out one last little. All right, there we go. So we took him out. I also got the journal of the reef crypto done. Cool. I think I got some heavy ammo there. I should have my super back here really soon. What I want to try to do though is do as much damage as I can here because these guys still have quite a bit of health left. So I'm going to actually go over here. And I got killed again. Yeah, see the problem is because of the changes they made to heavy machine guns, Thunderlord does not do as much damage. But I think most people should have it, so let's make sure we just keep using it. Alright, we gotta go in here. Try to get this night down if we can do that. That'd be super good. He's not down. He's close though. He's close, and I don't know if we're, we're going to get the super back. If we get it back one more time, that's a bonus. Gotta get this guy down. All right, two down, one to go. We got two and a half minutes. We gotta get our buddy Valstar, the most famous strike balls from Destiny One. Right, two minutes. He's at not quite a half half health yet. at like one third. We have a minute and a half. It's down on the wire. As long as he doesn't run back to his little hiding spot. Which he does every now and again. He kind of did it right now. Right, we got to kind of rush in there. We need to get him out. Out of that little area. Take the back way in here. See, I, and you guys saw, I mean, I, I did not play perfectly. There's definitely room for improvement here, but we still have enough time to get it done. That was the last boss. Valstark is down. This is when you would have Whisper the Worm pop up. So, it is doable. It's a lot easier right now to do this when you're doing it solo with that grenade boost. The 
Reveler's Tonic is amazing for this. So I wanted to make this video. Like I said, I know this was pretty much a start to finish, super long video. You guys saw you guys saw all the mistakes. You guys saw what weapons I was using. Uh, the Taken armaments really came in handy. So if you don't have those, make sure that you're grabbing that free raid chest every single week. This is how I got these. Super helpful. Super mods are great. Ordnance mods are great. The Void Titan is very underrated, especially for that mission. The Doom Fangs are incredible. Even though I had pretty much an infinite super, sometimes I got killed, but you saw how much damage they were doing. So I wanted to make this video, guys. Hopefully, if it, if it was helpful, let me know in the comments. Again, if you do need help with this, I do live streams, so make sure you guys are subbed. Make sure you guys have notifications on. Would love to see you guys in the live streams. Have a lot of fun doing those on YouTube here. So, guys, thank you so much. Best of luck with this mission. Enjoy the rest of the revelry. And I also will make a follow-up to this for Shattered Throne because Shattered Throne solo is something I want to do utilizing this same method. So, guys, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch up soon. See you guys.